Hello everyone and welcome back to number one PCO training. So in this video here, we're going to be covering a, a, a road closure. So the road closure on this route is Osborne. So we need to look for Osborne. Now, how can we find Osborne? Like I always say, the line that I use to guide me will always help me find the road closure also. So right now, Osborne should be somewhere along this line that I've just drawn. So let me zoom in from the green. Let me keep looking up. And I can see Osborne right here. So there is Osborne, yeah? So the whole road, however, is not Osborne. So let me just explain that. So here, this yellow road here, from there to about here is brick lane okay so that is brick lane we can use brick lane the only road we cannot use is osborne which is right here okay so remember when you get the road closure the question will be on your left hand side okay read the question they'll tell you to go from green to red and then you should see in writing they'll say the road closure the name of it on the left hand side so Make sure you're reading the question. A lot of people don't actually read the question and they end up going into the road closure. So anyway, right now, Osborne is right there. We know what to avoid. We need to just uh, go from green to red as normal, but avoid Osborne. So I'll show you guys the most direct route. Let me just draw the line back up. So let me draw the line back up. And then I'm going to pick somewhere in the middle like I always do. So I would say the middle is somewhere here. So my plan right now would be to get to here, Ally Street, that yellow road here. I need to somehow get there. Yeah. Once I get there, I can then work out how I can get to my end point. Yeah. So I need to get to that yellow road here, Ally Street. I believe that's how you say it okay so let's get started let me zoom in so remember my green point is already on my left hand side so I can just stay on my left here remember you can use these uh, road names here yeah the letters as a guide so you can just use look I'm gonna stay under these letters here the letter T S K I'm gonna stay just under it look my line would be perfect, yeah? So I'm gonna keep going up, I'll keep going up until I cannot go up because I can see a one way in front of me here, I can't go up. And also I cannot take a right here because Hooper Street, there's a line in the middle of the road. You see here, I cannot take a right. Now that is the central reservation barrier. In the real world, we'll probably see the barrier or we'll see a no right turn sign. You know the no right turn sign that we see? That's what we would see in the real world. So this here, if I took a right there, I would get zero marks. Yeah, no matter what I do after that, I would get zero marks. So the map here is actually telling me what to do. I have no choice. I cannot take a right and also I cannot go up. So what I'll do is I'll take a left here and once I take this left, Goodman's Yard. You see this little diamond shape here? This is not a roundabout. You cannot go around this, guys, okay? You cannot do that. You will get a straight zero if you do go around it. So in the real world, this actually looks like that, okay? There's a little island here. Anyone coming from our direction east and is going north would have to use the inside. Same if you're coming from east and you're going down to south, you stay on the inside. Also, you cannot go across to the other side because obviously there's a one way there anyway. But in the exam, you'll be seeing this map. I'm only using this map to show you guys, uh, give you guys an idea of what it looks like. You'll be using this map. So once you see that diamond shape, it's very rare. I don't think there's anywhere else in the map also. So it's just here in East London near Whitechapel. So... I'll take a slight right here and then I'll go up. Yeah, it's the same. If I was coming from here, I would take a slight left and then I would go up. 
yeah it's a little diamond shape same if i'm going down yeah so anyway we're almost there to our middle point remember i picked somewhere in the middle to reach first so I've, I'm, I've split into two. I'm going to take a right here. This is the road we said we wanted to get to. And then I'll stop right there. Yeah. So remember, guys, once you get these routes, split them into two. Okay. The map will become a lot easier to do. So let me just plan my second route now. So I would just follow this one way road. Once I've followed it. I'll see Osborne right in front of me. Now, obviously, I cannot go into Osborne. So what I'll do is I'll take a right here. No problem. This is a two-way road. Again, how do we know it's a two-way road? Both sides of the road are solid, okay? So it's a two-way road. There's no doubt I can take a right. There's no lines in the middle of the road. And then what I'll do is I'll take a right here. Once I take this right, I'll keep going. So this is one mis another mistake people make. I'll keep going to this roundabout. I will not take a left here and take a right here. Now, if you look closely, yeah, this is a big mistake people make. And it's actually hard to see, to be honest. Um, if you look closely, yeah, those lines are actually almost, well, they are touching the letter N. Yeah. So there's lines coming into the road, right? That road there is actually closed. So I'll show you again on the other map. There we go. That is a closed road. Now they haven't made it clear, which is unfair, obviously. They haven't made it clear, but it's one of those things. If you know, you know, and if you don't, then obviously you would fail this. So yeah, avoid it, okay? So go straight up. Go around this little roundabout. And our end point is right here. Yeah. So that is no doubt the most direct route. And you should get full marks for that question. So let me draw that line again. Like I said, I've got to somewhere in the middle. And then I've done my second part. Also, I've avoided using Osborne Road, which is right there. Yeah. I've avoided using Osborne. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe.